let the attack of the awesome begin. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Attack of the Awesome, the podcast so awesome that our team can collaborate and say awesome words. Uh, it's... It's been a while since we actually recorded the episode. I actually looked at the calendar, and it's almost been a fucking month since we did a recording together. So the mic, cause it's my fault. Sorry. Ooh, we got lives. I got problems. Be ashamed. I'm ashamed. Okay, I'm so weird. Uh, anyways, let's get right into the podcast by going into the around the web, but. What about introducing us, douchebag? You are out of practice, young man. Yes, I am. Thank you for... God my... damn it. I'm here. My name is JJ motherfucking LaForte. This is Scooter Douchebag. Who else is with us right now? Rosen, are you there? I'm here. Okay, that's Rosen fucking Hacker. Hacker. And Ruby, are you there? Yes, I'm Ruby from, from Austria. Hi. Around the web, where we talk about... Things that we noticed, s- saw, and looked at around the web. Porn. Porn, of course. Yeah, I mean, yes. that is what everybody does around <laughs> yeah. the web. Yeah, exactly. Look at porn. Yeah, just jack off the porn. That's what all guys do in their spare time. But besides porn... Isn't it? I mean, like that, that's, a, that's actually a fact. It is. It is a fact. Ain't that right, Rose? <laughs> Rose and Hager just probably like, uh, I don't oh, know. Oh, man, I hope you would say something. Uh, I Ruby, feel very discriminated right now. now. Who says that women can't look for porn in their spare time? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm discriminating against women now because you I apparently. Gay... <laughs> <laughs> you, what do you watch for porn? Gosh, Jeez, are you watch gay porn or <laughs> lesbians getting on or something? I have no idea. She's pro- she's got a boyfriend. She just doesn't need to watch porn. She can do it in at her own home. Maybe they watch together. <laughs> A lot of couples that uh, watch porn together. Ah, it could be. I think I've... Yeah, I think I noticed. Hey, maybe you should remove all of now. So what What do we saw around the web? Any interesting videos, articles, news articles, anything? What What have we seen? Anybody? Since I hate Rosen, I want him to start. So you go ahead, Rosen. Well, I'm um, just looking uh, at the, the official nerd news site, Top of Robot. Um, seeing a lot of stuff, mainly the new Doctor Who episode coming out is going to be called Let's Kill Hitler. Yes. Let's Kill Hitler. Yep. Yeah, that could not so, be wh- more awesome. What's gonna, what is it going to be about? I mean, like, are they going to be like back? Uh, I mean, are they going to be back like in the 1930s yes. trying to do it or yeah. something? Yes, apparently... The crew goes back in time to the 1930s. They meet Hitler, and you know something has to go down, and they kill Hitler. <laughs> and those, there's like a subplot where they have to find uh, uh, what's that redhead's name? Uh, Amy Pond's baby. <laughs> so it's a very interesting premiere. That's Ruby, coming. are you in this movie too? It's a TV show, not a movie. Yeah. Okay, uh, Ruby, are you in this TV show, too? Doctor Who. No. Doctor Who. You just oh, want man. to discriminate me again because I'm Austrian. Yes. And because Hitler <laughs> was Austrian. Yes, yes, I know Hitler was from my country, but... Okay, I think mentioning that I'm half Persian won't help <laughs> at all. You're half Persian? You never told us this. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes he has. Three times now. Yes. That's why my name is that strange. It's a Persian name. Oh, is it? I just thought you had a weird name. <laughs> no. It's it's weird and Persian. My dad's a Persian. My mother's an Austrian. Ah. And I'm a lucky person who lives in Austria and not in Iran. So I can wear little clothes if I choose. We're talking about clothes, and we're supposed to be talking about shit on the web. Yeah. Is it my turn? I, I, yes, it's your turn, yeah. Go ahead. 
Okay, children, since I have, like, some type of little aspiration to Europe right now, basically I've been, like, watching a lot of, like, BBC humor and a lot of things that, like, go on over there in London. Like, I've recently got into, uh, Doctor Who. As much as I hate to admit that. Oh, wow. What a lot. What a lot. Is there, like, a term for being called a Who fan or something? Whovian. Whovian, yeah. A Whovian? Whovian, yeah. yeah. Whovian. That's really lame. I was hoping it was like, you're a doctor kid or something. Better than Sherlockian. What's that? Sherlock Holmes fan. Oh, yeah. Uh, I like Trekkies, and I like the Kiss Army, but Hoofian, it sounds so weird. It sounds I, like a bird. Yeah, it does. But but anyway, around the web, what I found is that they, BBC, the, you know, the newscasting web uh, mm -hmm. work, they showed, um, they showed... They like like you submit like a series to them and they'll put it on their site, and, and one of the series is called a series called uh, uh, Misery Bear. You guys ever heard of Misery Bear? I found this awesome uh, live action Team Fortress Two video. <laughs> I hate you. What about you? What about Ruby? You ever heard of Misery Bear? And no, I've not heard of it. No, I have not heard of it. Well, Misery Bear is just basically they go around with a little stuffed bear it's supposed to be like a living bear pretty much and he just lives his life but he's like his wife left him he has a shitty job he's just this little teddy bear and just all these hijinks happen but like at the end of the day like shit is just like like here's an example basically image him like on valentine's day he's lonely no women wants to be with him. Then he walks past like a store where he sees like a woman sitting in a um, restaurant and she blows a kiss to him and then he's all like, oh, my gosh, there's a girl that likes me. He goes out, buys all these gifts, comes back, but when he sees at the restaurant, her sitting there with, his, with her husband. And that, that makes him a sad panda. And then the episode ends. <laughs> exactly. And it, it's that type of humor. It's just, like, sad humor. That is pretty funny. Exactly. It's just like, oh, poor bear. And it's only for like two minutes, and it's with this little stuffed bear. And it's just, it's very, very good. And like, he has like all these little, little tiny grunts, so it sounds like a really adorable. And it's just sad to watch, but it's hilarious. Oh, man. Well, that's what I found, Ron Webb. What did you find, Mike? Uh, oddly enough, it's actually Doctor Who related as well. Uh, uh, on oh, you, you suck. I know. Yeah. I'm a Whovian, so shut up. Uh, on YouTube, there's like a short little video called uh, Doctor Who Meets Bill and Ted by uh, Toonsmith Produ Productions. Doctor Who Meets <laughs> <laughs> Bill and Ted from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. <laughs> yeah. And the uh, and a cameo from uh, Doc Brown and Marty McFly from Back to the Future. And it's so funny how these three time travel icons meet up with each other and it and hilarity ensues. It's pretty fucking funny. That's genius. Like they, they, so it's just it's just like uh like a little short YouTube episode. Or is it like a yeah, series? Yeah, it's it's uh I'm trying to find the, but this guy animates like these short little clips. And it's like a little short, and they uh, he just combined Doctor Who. Bill and Ted has an excellent adventure and Back to the Future in one clip. And I'm like, holy shit. Toonsmith Productions. And Toonsmith Productions produced the short cartoon shorts of... He does he does a parody of House. Uh, this one with Bill and Ted and Doctor Who. I uh, just go on YouTube, type in Doctor Who meets Bill and Ted, and you'll have a awesome mind-blowing video. What about you, Ruby? What did you find? Yeah, I found something accidentally because someone posted this article on Facebook and I personally found it very, very funny. Um, it's about a book being published, a kind of scientific book, uh, which from a French guy who claims that the Smurfs are Nazis. Um, they're not. Yes. <laughs> and he wrote a whole book about uh, um, 
about arguments and reasons why Smurfs are Nazis. And, for example, he writes something like, um, the society of Smurfs is an archetype of a tot totalitarian society, and it's Nazi-like or also like Stalinism. And he, the book is called Le Petit Livre Bleu, the little blue book. And um, apparently there's also an episode about black Smurfs. And it's, um, according to the author, it's, um, it's obviously racist. You know, <laughs> they should review this. <laughs> and you should see this episode and tell me if you feel... Um, Uncomfortable. You feel offended by the black Smurfs. But sometimes I, 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 I really like racism because it's funny <laughs> sometimes. But so, like, yeah. it, it depends if it's like, literally meant to offend me. Like if he's hanging from a tree, then that's going to offend me, of course. But yeah, I'll give it a watch. Yeah, Can and you? obviously Gargamel... Um, is um, Hitler seems to be a parody of of Winston, um, Winston. Of yeah, yeah. an anti-Semite caricature. I have to translate this from German, but um, yeah, an anti-Semite stereotypes because of his nose. <laughs> <It's not like laughs> I think it's. I don't know if I, I I mean I didn't read the book, but um, according to the small things that I read here, it sounds really funny. It it sounds it sounds like a you know typical. I studied um, a very similar kind of thing, and it it sounds like you know you can if you see a show or something, you can interpret. Well, whatever you like, and I think that's what this guy is doing. I find it very, very funny. Let's go to one in the world of where we talk about what's going on in music, movies, video games, and a little bit about animation. Porn. So, who wants to start the, the uh, one in the world of? What should we talk about first? Uh, video games, music, movies, animation? What should we start with? Uh, I go last, remember. Yes, okay. I go last, so... Okay, okay. Yep. JJ goes last. I say Ruby. Music first? Yes. Okay, Dean. What do you got for music? Ruby, take the stage. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm first. Yes. I started enough while presenting the weird news, and now I'm first. Okay. Um... Where do I find the first addict? Yeah. The first one I found is about a, where is it? No, that's not what I want. Ah, I lost it. Now I have it again. It's um, uh, about um, Kurt Cobain's hometown um, thinking about naming a bridge in his honor. And uh, there is a lot of discussion if it is um, necessary to name a bridge after someone who took a lot of drugs and killed himself. And, um, guys, what is your opinion? Can you name a bridge after Kurt Cobain or can't you? What would you say? Oh, I'm just going to be driving to death. i got to get on the Kurt Cobain bridge and go see home my wife. Oh, wait. She'll ask me, what the fuck is a Kurt Cobain bridge? And I'm all like, oh, you know, it's the bridge on 94. Oh, I thought you meant you were going to go and drive on Kurt Cobain. So, yeah, I can, I can imagine it being a bridge. So you're saying you want, you want the bridge to be made out of his bone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you guys answer it then. Shit, I gave you my answer. All right. Uh, I would just say, you know, they're honoring Kurt Kurt Cobain by naming a bridge after him. He's he's a pioneer in grudge music, and they know him for that reason, not, not because he did drugs or commit suicide. So I would say it it would be an honor to have a 
a bridge named after yourself. So I think Kurt Cobain Bridge would be awesome. If that's the case, and they should name a bridge after Jimi Hendrix. Damn. Ex- exactly, yeah. The Hendrix Bridge. The Hendrix I think bridge. they have a whole town named after. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, yeah, there's really nothing wrong with naming uh, a musician or naming um, any type of substance after a musician. Yeah. Yeah, and besides Kurt Cobain isn't the only person who ever took drugs and killed himself and uh, some kind of object or street or something else got named after this person. That's something that happens, you know, Mm -hmm. and... uh, People haven't been questioning this, so why is it a problem if if he's a pioneer in grunge music, if he's very well known, and if he's dead, yeah, why not? I don't see why. So, you will always have people killing themselves, taking drugs for whatever reason, and I don't think it gets worse because someone named a bridge after Kurt Cobain. Okay, and then let's get to the next one. Yay. Um, one uh, article says that Cher records a Lady Gaga song for her new album. Um, she recorded a song called The Greatest Thing um, and for her next album. Yeah. I'm looking forward to hear this. I didn't yet. I was always busy, but I think it's a funny thing, you know, an old pop icon and a new pop icon working together. So, yeah, that's the second one. Nobody likes Lady Gaga. Yeah, nobody likes Lady Gaga. I think Lady Gaga is funny. I, I like her, I like her. I just like saying that because uh, all the girls at my school are like, Oh my gosh, Lady Gaga, that's so weird. So I'm all like, nobody likes her. I, I would Both think that girls wouldn't say. like her. I mean, I don't like her music that much. It's more like, I like her songs when I'm drunk for some reason. <laughs> and it's fun. <laughs> like, it's, ha oh, oh, that's Lady Gaga, oh, let's dance, you know. But, um... I like um, her being such an eccentric person. That's the yeah, think, fun. That's part of her image. Like her to yeah. look that way, and that's what a lot of people don't like. Though it's not about her music; it's about her image. So, mm-hmm. but we can have conversation about like Lady Gaga for like ever. What's the next one? Yeah, I don't know if this is already. A bit late to say this because I don't know if. Since we didn't record a podcast for one month, and I've been reading this one month ago, did do you know if the Emmy nominations are already over? Emmy, (laughs) Uh, because I don't. uh, Yeah, I wouldn't have known. But Lady Gaga and Justin Timberlake received Emmy nominations. Lame. Yeah, the Emmy nominated for TV. Uh, but this is one month ago, so I should have probably searched for a new one. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't. So that's have. all I have for today. Okay. The uh, awards are already over. Ah, uh, most awesome song. What's the most awesome um, song? The most awesome song of the week is "Smells Like Teen Spirit" of Nirvana because I want that bridge named after Kurt Cobain. All right. Really awesome. And the awesome song of the week was that Chris Brown and Justin Bieber song. Oh, God, no. No. Why does everybody hate Justin Bieber? I mean, like, I just, like, like as an actual, like, star, I hate that he's given so much fame. But, I mean, like, he can still make music. It's pretty uh, obvious with Baby. He doesn't suck. Well, I I don't really hate him. I just, his, he's just, this, yes. his whole persona annoying. and image is, is annoying. That's what I'm saying, but I mean, he could. St- that's like saying, "Oh man, I hate Michael Jackson. He's a rapist and he's a child molester." Yeah, exactly. But the dude exactly. can still make music. Well, Justin Bieber's music doesn't appeal to me, so for me, I don't like Justin Bieber. For anybody else that likes yeah. his music, it's their opinion. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he, he's good with R and B, so I, w- I won't hate on him R- for that. R and B. He performs with other black R&B? artists. It's his pop music. 
Ozek. R&B. She doesn't do No, I mean, when he, let, let me finish. If he performs with different artists, like black artists, yeah, he can do R&B. Yeah, he could. Yeah, well, he just, well, he did Usher already, freaking Chris Brown now, shit. He could, I think he would do, uh, Ludacris, yeah, shit. It, it, it goes on forever. Okay. Cool. Who, who's next? Who freaking wants, cool, man. Who's, who wants to go? I vote Rosen, because I don't like Rosen Hacker. Oh, yeah, he's fine. a douchebag. All right, Rosen Hacker. Animation. What do we got? I said, in the world of uh, comics, DC had their uh, first commercial for the new relaunch, which was 30 seconds of boring motion comics. So, Wait, so it's a motion comic, like they're moving and like from panel to panel? And stuff? No, that's just that's just a commercial. Aww. Aww. Okay, it, actually, it's not a motion comic, it's just them moving still throughout the comic, kind of like what Linkara does. Linkara, aw oh, man, that's really lame. I know. <laughs> it's just still images, like they're just moving the camera around them. It's, they're not actually using motion. You could do this on a flash engine. Well, in either case, so is this like supposed to be like the ultimate universe of DC now? Well, they, they're starting over everything. They're, they're getting rid of everything else. So, like, this is going to be the main can universe. Yeah, and the old one is just starting over everything. Yep. I, I didn't know you could do that. That's like you alienating can't. all comic book fans. That's why Marvel just said, hey, let's just make another universe. Yeah. Let's make multi-universes so we could do whatever we want. They don't realize what they've done. And I thought Disney buying out Marvel would kill them. But look what happened to DC. They yep. suck. <laughs> well, any, anyway, what, what else is happening? It's of, oh, God, make it stop. Clone Wars is getting a fourth season. Clone Wars? Isn't that a good... I heard that's actually a decent series on Cartoon Network. The Granny Konotofsky version was, but the CG stuff, it's crap. Yeah, well, I mean, but it's still, like, it, like, fits well into the Star Wars series, and it doesn't do it wrong like some of the earlier movies does. It's it's not as bad as the prequels, but it's still not good. Yeah, but I think, like, kids just, like, going around seeing Jedis do Jedi shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I liked to see when I was a kid. Yep. Seriously, how cool would it be to do Jedi mind tricks when you go up to the banker and be all like, oh, I got $100. You have $100? Actually, I have... Four hundred dollars. Yeah, that. Oh, okay. That's what Star Wars MMO was for. Bring me a taco. <laughs> <laughs> Tacos yeah. rule. Yes, I stole that from Seth Green. Yep. Kiss my balls. <laughs> yes. Anything else? Well, in the world of the anime meeting with video games, there is Catherine. What's that? They're making an anime off of that? No. Uh, no. Catherine already uses like it's like half anime. Yeah, I know. I gotta, I gotta go into this when I do video games. Shit. <laughs> anyway. Play Catherine is excellent. And that's about all I got. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rosenhacker, what's the uh, most awesome animation? For the past month, it's been the new Thundercats cartoon. Yeah, that's what I thought. The, yeah, the new Thundercats yeah. is... haven't seen it, go do that right now. Seriously, it is so awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I've been watching a couple of episodes here and there now, and it's pretty awesome. Oh, what about you, Mike? Then movies. Yes, I've been uh, collecting a lot. You suck too. Movies. <laughs> Actually, who's a fan of Angry Birds here? Me. <laughs> You're not allowed to talk about Angry Birds. <laughs> They're uh, planning on making an Angry Birds movie. I knew about that. Yeah. Like, that was fake. No, but, they announced it twice. But now it's real, it says. They're, yep. And they How are, are they going to make an Angry Birds movie? Uh, they are getting some help from a former Marvel Studios executive, and it's coming out in 2014. Are yep. we even going to be alive near then? Yeah. Yes. I thought we were supposed to die at the end of 2012. You know that's bullshit. Yeah, you know that's I want it to be real. <laughs> I'm tired of living. <laughs> then they'll give me a reason why I'm not going to graduate co college on time. Then I could drop out and be like, ah, oh, we're just going to die in 2012. Uh, in other news, uh... You know some, you know some idiots are going to think it's real. Anyway, get back to your news, Mike. I hate you. Uh, in other news, Eddie Murphy is going to voice a uh, Hanna-Barbera cartoon character known as 
Hong Kong Fooey in an upcoming uh, hybrid live action and animation movie. Ow. Ow. I think <laughs> this something that's popped inside my brain. <laughs> really? I actually think that's kind of cool. I think I mean, so. I can actually um, admit image of uh, him being called uh, or talking as Hong Kong Fooey. It's not really that hard. Yeah, yeah I, but it's still going to suck. I think I, it's always suck. Actually, I think it'd be a great movie because I I watched Hong Kong Fui on like Boomerang back in the day, and I see Eddie Murphy being this character in a way. Name any other movie like this that wasn't crap. That wasn't crap. Uh, I don't uh, know. Well, recently the Smurfs sucked. So the uh, Smurfs sucked. What else movie? Y- Yogi Bear yeah, sucked. Name one that isn't crap. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, if, you can't name one because you can't do a movie like this. About- Time out. Uh, the only uh, CGI slash live action movie that's based on a hair Barbera cartoon that wasn't crap was the Scooby Doo movies. The first one was okay, the second one was meh, but still, I think those Scooby Doo movies were much better than the movies that were made now. Time in. Well, who framed Roger Rabbit was the first that did it, and that was the only decent one, so. Oh, yeah, because that was hand dry animation, awesome, but this is but CGI animation. There's a difference. And it wasn't based on anything. Yeah. So, well, Roger Rabbit was like its own cartoon. It just wasn't a big one. Yeah. But yeah, that's uh, it's a little, the the movie's gonna be a little different from the series because in the series, Hong Kong Fu is just a anamorphic janitor dog who transforms into a kung fu master and uh, kicks crime in the ass. This time, apparently, what? In the, can't he just <laughs> in the movie? Keep going. In the movie, it's going to be about a dog who stumbles into a mystic ceremony and accidentally granted mystic powers, including the ability to walk, talk, and do kung fu. And he does That's lame. It's lame, because it's not, it's not based off the damn show. It's mixing it up a bit. Uh, yeah, Hong Kong Fooey with Eddie Murphy, coming soon. Hong Kong Boogie, number one super guy. Mike Myers signs for Austin Powers 4. Yay! Oh, boy. Oh. Ruby, over there in Austria, do you guys like Austin Powers? Um, I don't, but my Why? boyfriend over there just screamed, yeah, when he heard <laughs> this because he has a very bad humor. His jokes are awful. And that's why he also likes Austin Powers. Right. Why don't you like Austin Powers? It's so funny. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just not my kind of humor. I've seen... I didn't see all the Austin Powers movies. Or did I? I've seen did at least gold two. Gold Member? Yes. That's the first. <sighs> that's right. I, I get to review that. I can't remember it very well. I just can't remember that I... Didn't find it very funny. I'm more the black humorous person. I like things like movies like Little Miss Sunshine or something like that. Basically dark comedy. Although when I was young, I also liked Dude, Where's My Car? Uh, they're making a sequel to that. Why? No, no, but no, they're not. I think my- That's old they news. Were, they were planning they were planning it before, <laughs> but now it's... They, I read about that a long time ago, and now they canceled it, so there's no Dude, Where's My Car 2. Don't tell me this bull... <laughs> don't tell me this bullshit, Rose and Hacker. I know this stuff. Okay, okay. It's bullshit. Did you hear about what, what was going to happen with the Super Mario Brothers movie? What? What happened? Like, they were actually going to make it be good. Like, they had it like, mirrored the original game. You keep going in and out. Stop it. Stop fading out. I'm saying, before the six rewrites, the original story was, like, that of the the original game. Okay. (laughs) That would have been pretty nice. They kept that, but no. And they had had Arnold Schwarzenegger or uh, Michael Keaton as uh, Bowser. What? (laughs) Yeah, but for Mario, Danny DeVito. What? I could see that working. How could you? Couldn't you? S- what? <laughs> I think you just broke me for a minute there. Danny DeVito. Yay! <laughs> Hilarious. 
<laughs> Have you ever seen It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Yes. I still it's a great don't. Show. I great don't. Show. I don't see Danny DeVito as freaking Mario for some odd reason. I just don't picture it. Better than Bob Hoskins. What? Uh, Bob? I don't know. Bob was okay, but he. Of course, he's like, oh, I hated that movie because he just disowned the damn film. Uh, getting off track. Uh, that, uh, oh, the last bits I'm going to talk about is trailers. Uh, uh, new trailers that came out. Uh, tra- trailers of uh, Battleship came out. The um, movie based off the board game. Uh, yeah, it l- Looks pretty interesting since it's gonna be uh, with aliens in it. What? Yeah. <laughs> in the trailer, uh, and actually, let me tell you the casting. Uh, Liam Neeson is is gonna be in this movie from uh, Taken and all that good stuff. So Battleship. Michael Collins. Yeah. A battleship just pretty much is, they're on a boat in the middle of the ocean. Of course, they bump into a spaceship, alien spaceship in the water. Space! From out of space! And uh, these aliens start shooting at the ships, and they actually, they're staying true to the game. They peg the ships with, like, yellow darts, like in the game. That's not going to work. I... (laughs) You could have made battleships into, like, a naval epic. Yeah, you could have, but actually, it's pretty creative. And another casting choice is uh, Rihanna it makes his her acting debut in this movie. God! 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, uh, in the uh, Brad Jones uh, Cowboys and Aliens review... Brad Jones does say Battleship looks awesome, so I take his word to the max because it does look awesome. Move on to the next trailer, please. Uh, the next trailer is, of course, the remake of Footloose. Ah! Man, yeah, that I, one looks bad. It, why? It's stupid. Uh, let's see, the next trailer that recently came out is the uh, Ghost Rider 2, Spirit of Re- uh, Vengeance. Ghost Rider, yeah, Nicolas Cage again. I don't... No, 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 Nick Cage list, it's not going to work. Nick Cage was awesome in that movie, but he's gone now. No, it says here that he returns. Okay. Yes, Nicolas Cage returns as Ghost Rider. So it's not Cage list, it has Cage in it, and it's going to open... Okay, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> exactly, so don't judge... Anything by the and cover. And it has Christopher Lambert in it. Oh, it yeah. It Connor McCloud. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's going to be awesome. Uh, yeah, that tra- trailer came out. Uh, a new movie, no- nothing that you guys have heard of, but it's called In Time. And it features... In Time. In Time. It features Justin... I like Tim- that name. It's a good... It's a sci-fi thriller with... The lead of Justin Timberlake as the action hero. Oh, yeah. well, for a second, I thought you said Justin Bieber. I was, I was, I almost said that. I was Justin Timberlake. <laughs> <laughs> I almost said that. Uh, yes, in time is a interesting sci-fi where you your body stops aging at twenty five and you can live forever. Yay! Cool. But, so that would rock. That would that, rock. That would pretty- and uh, at the age of twenty-five, your body is given one year to live, and you got a timer on your arm that goes down to one year, and you got to collect points to keep that timer running and running until you live forever. Huh. And uh, some something happens. Uh, I think a millionaire had like a decade's worth of time to live, and Justin Timberlake gets transferred all his time to live forever, and these mobsters of some sort just want that time of themselves, so there's a big chase scene. All that crazy stuff happening. And that's coming out in October. 
28th. In October. Spaceships will land in America. <laughs> uh, Is it my turn yet? The Amazing... You know, he still has the... Uh... I got a couple more left. The Amazing Spider-Man that, teaser that, came out. Oh my God. The Amazing Spider-Man trailer Spider-Man came out. Spider-Man teaser trailer. The Amazing Spider-Man trailer came out, and I have no opinion on that because why would you want to? It's interesting to the point. Actually, in the trailer, towards the end of the trailer, it does like a mirror's edge kind of thing where Spider-Man's climbing the windows of a building. I don't know. I, uh, another superhero film, uh, The Dark Knight Rises, has a teaser trailer, which is really, 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 really awesome. Mm-hmm. And, so, yeah, all the stuff, the, uh, movies that came out, that's right? Um, no, actually, all these are upcoming, like, another one with Eddie Murphy once again, with, uh... Oh, my God. <laughs> Tower Heist. Uh, oh, I saw that. That yep. looks like... Yeah, Tower yeah. Heist. Else? Tower Heist is uh, a movie with Ben Stiller, Eddie Murphy, and Matthew Broderick. That looks really bad. Yeah, and of course, Brett Ratner is directing the damn movie. And, and apparently, this is the movie that Brett Ratner and Eddie Murphy went for instead of doing Beverly Hills Cop 4. So, lame. Lame. Uh, last, the last one, of course, you gotta love Christmas. C- the Christmas movie of the year is A Harold and Kumar Christmas. Yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yep. I love Harold and Kumar. The third movie of Harold Kumar, and it's Christmas time. And the trailer looks freaking hilarious. And it's in 3D! So does Neil Patrick Harris rise from the grave? Yes, Neil Patrick Harris comes back from the dead, and it's even questioned in the trailer. Neil Patrick Harris is like, doesn't remember a thing, and they're like, Dude, we just saw you got shot in that whorehouse, remember? Uh, I don't remember anything. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's coming out on November 4th, <clears throat> 2011, this year. And that's the weird... Eat. So yeah, that's the uh, movie portion of the one in the world of. Uh, the most awesome movie, I would just say it, the most awesome movie is Cowboys and Aliens. Is it my turn now? Yes, yes. it's your turn now. Yes. You, you got video games. It's my turn. What's going on in video games, Ruby JJ? Ruby said it's my turn. And Ruby said it's my turn in Austrian. Or German. It's my turn. No, stay no. in Austrian. <laughs> Humor him so we can move on. Ich bin dran. Du bist dran. Yay! JJ is dran. Go. Okay, fine, fine, fine. To tie in with some of the crap you guys have been talking about, Lady Gaga is going to have a video game. It's going to be called I Love Gay People, and it's going to be fucking wet. No, it's, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I almost actually, like, lost my I time. wanted to see. I should have went on. I couldn't, like think of anything else to say with that, so I just, I was going to try to pull you guys in and be like, ah, no, that's not true. But would you guys believe me if I were to say that, though? A uh, little bit. Yeah, a little bit, because actually the Black Eyed Peas has a game coming out, so I wouldn't believe, I would believe that Lady what? Gaga. Yeah, the Black Eyed Peas has a new game where you can dance to their music and shit, so it's like a dance game with their music. Oh. And it's probably Connect, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty much well, that. the Connect. I'm going to be dancing just like you do with just dance and pretty much everything. That's what the Connect is becoming. It's yeah. just be- become an emotion mover yep. for chicks. Pretty that's much. Pretty uh, and again, females love to shake their asses, so I don't think that's a bad yep. thing. Well, then, is it my turn? Yes. Well, it is my turn. Yes. To tie in with the uh, new Spider-Man movie, there's going to be a new Spider-Man game that's coming out October 4th. It's going to be called Spider-Man at the Edge of Time. And I like time, and since saying time at the end of something, it sound, it makes it sound so cool, because yeah. I'm starting to really get obsessed with Doctor Who. Anyways, 
it will be following after uh, the Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions, which just involves Spider-Man going through different dimensions of himself, fighting different villains and whatnot to get back a piece of slab that does stuff. But anyway, in this new Spider-Man game, it's pretty much the future and the past. And there's a past Spider-Man who's just known as the Amazing Spider-Man, just like in the new movies. And then there's going to be the, the future Spider-Man, which is called uh, Spider-Man 299, I don't know. Yeah, I just like nine. him. Oh my God. Yeah, two, two, new Spider-Man 299. He's going to go around, he's going to use his freaking um, powers to help out the one in the future. Like, <laughs> say, like, like it's going to have the back in the future syndrome. Say, like, uh, I don't know, I, did, I went back in time and I killed uh, freaking Mike's parents. Oh, wait, that, that's a little too dark. Let me see if I went back in time and I killed Justin Bieber's parents. And then there was World Peace. And ate them. <laughs> Still just and just, parents caused World Peace. Yep. Uh, then Rosenhacker's such a douchebag, he came back in time and he tried to stop me. That will affect the gameplay about how uh, Spider-Man lives. Basically, one has to go back in time to stop an event that uh, hurts the future ones um, in the future, pretty much. It looks like it's going to be a good game, but I don't know. I don't really like Spider-Man, but since we were on the subject, I was just all like, maybe I should throw that out there for yep. you guys. Mm -hmm. I'm fat. <laughs> Anything else? <sighs> uh, you know how you hated uh, Cowboys and uh, Aliens? Yes. Rose and Hacker? Yes. Cowboys and Aliens. Continue. I, 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 I really, I really want to know why you hated that. It's not as bad as I originally thought. It's just, there's no need for the aliens to be there. Like, well, the, the okay, I I saw the movie myself and I liked it. And the I was talking to Rosen Hacker in the past, the, and I was talking like, oh, I liked it, blah blah. And he's like, the people are made of gold. The people are made I, of I'm gold. I'm still thinking that theory. They were turning the humans into no. gold. I'm going to make that a. You you misunderstood it. The aliens were on Earth because they're collecting gold to use as a resource on their ship. I don't care. I'm still I'm still making that into a meme. <laughs> you can. I don't know how you got that confused, but overall. Cowboys and Aliens is a great uh, sub-genre mashup kind of thing here with sci-fi and westerns. Yeah, whatever. Basically, Call of Duty, you know, the greatest call, the greatest first-person shooter ever. Mm -hmm. I will punch you. Why, why would you punch me? What did I do? That, that last statement. And anyway, they're uh, unleashing a new service called Call of Duty Black Ops uh, Elite, which is pretty much a subscription. And it includes, like, bigger multitude, and you can do different stuff now. Like, it's, I think it's just a patch or something. And basically, like, you get to get new maps, and, like, there's, like, different invasions of, like, zombies and shit, and you can be fighting them on the moon and whatnot. If I don't throw in a call. Call of Duty reference, which is like the greatest first person of shooter of yeah. all time that nobody's going to take me like seriously. Is that why you hate me? I hate that. I hate Black Ops. I really do. Well, yeah. Uh, apparently on Smoosh as well, this will tie in more to our world around the web. Smoosh, they created like a little, uh, well, a little segment that they like to call, let's create a, an original video game because, you know, nowadays... In the video game industry over here in America, all we got is motherfucking first-person shooters that are like Call of Duty. Besides Halo. Or actually, it's all Halo, Gears of War, and Call of Duty, and everybody just tries to be just like them. And, like, nobody could ever come up with, like, an original creation nowadays. And But the same thing, though, over there in Japan, everybody just makes JRPGs with little girls with small skirts and whatnot. So, mm. is it really a bad thing to, like, try to defer? Let's just try to give the audience what they want. And everybody just likes to blow shit up. Ain't that right, Unabomber? Yes, that is true. You, I love blowing shit up. I, I was really... I was hoping you wouldn't answer. I would have been like, Mike, that's you. You're the <laughs> Unabomber, remember? I know, I am the Unabomber. That's my nickname. <sighs> uh, mm, I'm the Unabomber because uh, Brian, or what's his name again? Rob. Who did we interview a month ago? I forgot. His, Doug uh, Walker called me that. It was totally Rob Walker. I was going to call him Brian something. 
Uh, oh yeah, Rob. Rob called you that. Yeah, Rob did. He was like, "You look like I look like a Unabomber in your profile picture." Uh, okay. That is I the mean, worst no. Rob impression I've ever heard. I know it's awful. <laughs> that interview just sounded like, more like a Sally girl. <laughs> is that it? Anyway, JJ? apparently, but what? No, I got one more because like you guys never want me to do anything. Yeah, you know, like, hey, let's put JJ at the end because he won't have enough time to say all of his crap. <laughs> anyway, to tie in with a bomber, apparently they got um a new Bomberman ca- game coming out and it's going to be called Bomberman Live Battle Fest. And just like Call of Duty, it will have different settings. There's a pirate setting, there's a knight setting, there's a ninja setting, or you just get to play as different Bombermans who are like that instead of just different colors. That's pretty much all the knowledge that I got from it, but it'll be available for Xbox Live and WiiWare. It already came out. Oh, wait, yeah, so it's out for Xbox Live, but it'll be coming out for WiiWare, and it's going to have those updates, though. Oh. Suck it down, Rosenhack. <laughs> Matter of fact, like, can I bring this up for a second? Okay. Uh, I noticed that like a lot, a lot of people are just trying to do that nowadays, a so, little Ultimate Warrior type of thing. You know how they got like that on Spike TV and how they got a stupid game for freaking Xbox and whatnot? Yeah, you mean Deadliest Warrior. Yeah, Deadliest Warrior. And yep. like, I played that game. It is fucking stupid. You can kill people just by, like, stabbing them once. Yeah, one hit. Yeah. Like Bushido, <laughs> but shit. What's the point of having a fighting game? Like, that's like playing Soul Calibur and you die after taking two hits. <laughs> it's not fun. There's a reason the swords don't, aren't realistic in Soul Calibur. It Why? Work. But you could play that game like it's a real, like, actual sword fight because you're meant to, like, block and parallel their moves and kick them and whatnot. In this game, you die if you get stabbed with, like, two <laughs> arrows or if you do one good combo. Did you, did you see Spoonie's review of it? Oh, uh, no, I have not. Oh, uh, he played against John and he died in, in the first two seconds. <laughs> just, oh, God! Yeah. Uh, most awesome video game, JJ. Who's turn is it? Oh, it's my turn. The most awesome video game of the week is Donkey Kong 64. Yep. Actually, let me let me take that back. It's all of the greatest games that Rareware. You guys know Rareware. They created. Yep. Well, yep. they influenced and did shit with Donkey Kong, Banjo Kazooie, Conkers. Basically, every single game they released for the N64 was just golden. Yep. Besides, like, two other, like, off-shot games. Like, I don't know, like, yeah, golden the off-shot games. I won't put them in the same category. But, like, they're, like, games that they made for children, like, freaking Banjo-Kazooie, Conker's Bad Fur. Well, they didn't make that for children. Well, but they was, made that with the animal mascot. It was originally going to be a children's game. Yep. That and uh, motherfucking mother mother motherfucking fucking mother motherfucking mother mother motherfucking Donkey Kong 64 and Diddy Kong Racing. Just those games were just so fun, and now they just gave up on all of that for the Kinect. <sighs> Sad. Yep. I blame you, Rosen Hacker. <laughs> those are the awesome games of this motherfucking week, man. Go uh. back, go kill your mama, kill hers, and go buy yourself a. In- N64 and by Star Fox, I mean not Star Fox, by by <laughs> Conkers, by Donkey Kong, and by Banjo Kazooie and Tooie. <laughs> okay. By the way, kids, if you kids, if you ever want to get into uh video game reviewing, they actually did that on the Tigwa site and the Blister Thug site about how to be a good video game reviewer and how to be a good reviewer in general and what's it like to get into the industry of being on- online and what's it like having a blip account and whatnot. Yeah, at least some gaming books did that up uh, for like years ago on how to how to do a video game review show on a budget. Well, you know what? We haven't been online for a month, so, so I don't yeah. know. Might keep us up, up for speed, two okay? years. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Uh, one last thing. I'm talking about the newest one I did at Con Bravo. Oh. Yeah, the. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. You're talking about Fucking the ang- down. You're talking about the Angry Joe, Spoonie, and Doug Walker one, where Angry Joe kind of had a panel oh, all about uh, how to be a boobs reviewer. Boob. Boobs. We love boobs. <laughs> how to be a boob reviewer, yes. A boob review, yes. Uh, anyway, Mike, take us to the next segment. Uh, the weird uh, news, of course. Uh, oh. uh, 
I try to keep these weird news related to food because JJ wants to hear about food related like weird news. Uh yes. Uh actually I got a couple articles that are, are all about the meal breaker, which is a German a, food. A nasty un non edible surprise found in food while it is being eaten. Like for example uh at Pizza Hut Pizza Hut, get this. Uh, they found a Band-Aid in the pizza. Ooh. A bloody Band-Aid. Oh, oh. That's disgusting. Uh. In the crust. Baked into the Ruby. crust. Ooh. Uh. Ruby, if you found a Band-Aid in your food, what would you say? I'd say, how did JJ make my pizza? I said Ruby, not Rosie. <laughs> I just don't care. <laughs> Yeah, I would bring back the pizza and uh I'd do. claiming my money back and uh then I would probably not sue them. I'm just searching for the word. I would you know, go to an institution telling oh, the, uh, them that there is something wrong with their food. You know, for all we know though, somebody may so I make pizza. Pizza hut so gets past it. <laughs> Is that is that the reference you were trying to make, Rosie, when you said JJ? Yeah. <laughs> actually, there's an, actually a possibility for somebody who would be making pizza for their Band-Aid to actually fall off. That person should just be fired. The well, whole maybe, institution shouldn't be sued. Well, maybe they should make a rule where you have to start wearing gloves. I thought that was a rule. No, suing is the wrong word. Nah. Uh, report a health code violation? Yeah. Yep. Say it uh, in Austrian. We'll get it. I just. <laughs> Sie sollten die den Pizza hat überprüfen. That's how we would say it in in German, and um generally what I wanted this institution to do is go to Pizza Hut and test what's wrong with their food, or what is wrong in general. Why Band Aid was in there, and if it's just the one person who makes pizza with a band-aid, then yes, it should be, the person just should be fired. So, that's it. Mike, you should be fired. Uh, yeah, yeah, you. That's, that's a disgusting yeah. article. I wish you didn't say the blood was in it. Yeah, well, it was mentioned in the art, in the title and in the article, so I had to say it. Uh, uh, there's one more meal breaker I like to talk about. Uh, this is, comes from Sweden. Sweden. Uh, at a restaurant. Where is Sweden anyway? Uh, Sw Europe. It's the up. Where? It's North European. It's like. Uh, oh. da -ba I'm trying to think of the map right now. It's a couple of. Ruby, you would know. Where's Sweden? Where's Sweden at? Um, Sweden is in Scandinavia. It's I... in Europe. Scandinavia. In North. Okay, there we go. Um, yes. That's what it is. Uh. A eight-year-old uh, received a unexpected gift. You know, like you know, you get the happy meal and you get a gift or toy. Well, apparently, this kid received. He got a gun. He received a swastika tattoo. It... <laughs> Ruby, I didn't know you worked at uh, McDonald's. <laughs> I do. Yes, I, I want to take a shot there secretly. Uh, it's uh, it's always trying to I'm not hit. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't believe their eyes when they saw it. They didn't even know whether to laugh or cry. <laughs> <laughs> I would laugh. Yep. Yeah. So apparently, it's a mistake, and the tattoos were from China. So, freaking Chinese with a. Tattoos. Uh, so wait, this was out in Chinese, out in China. The the tattoo no. or the tattoos were made in China. So sexy. So yeah, so they get the t tattoos from China, put in their in the meals for the kids to have tattoos to stick on their arms or whatever else they stick their tattoos. Uh, actually, this article. I was made in China as well. <laughs> Okay, this article right here is actually a local one, right by me in Wisconsin. Uh, this is kind of funny. 
there was a robbery at a Wendy's. And the <laughs> <laughs> it gets funny. The they guy get beaten up. <laughs> no, that's it was a different state. It's, it was in my state in Wisconsin. I I mean, you keep bringing all these articles up, and like everybody, like like I can relate to them. So I, I'm liking this. I know. I, that's what I do. Uh, actually, the sad thing is, I just ate that at Wendy's two days before it got robbed. So. <laughs> oh really? You could have been there. Yeah, I could have been there when they got robbed. Uh, one of the suspects was wearing a Ninja Turtles mask. <laughs> so, uh, apparently a Ninja Turtle robbed the Wendy's. I don't know why a Wendy's. They could have robbed a Pizza Hut or a Domino's Pizza exactly. or something. <laughs> uh, what color was the headband that he was wearing? <laughs> apparently, they said it was a Raphael. Was it, blue? it was red, like Raphael's mask. Oh, man. No, I like Raph. I mean, Ra- Raphael. Ralphie. Whatever this, the fuck they call him. This article just went out of proportion because it started it in its local, and then all of a sudden it went na- international because I've seen it everywhere, all, all over the net, and people were blocking like, oh, I guess the suspect was a Ninja Turtle. He, he, they hid in the sewers to get away. <laughs> uh, I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, the next one... JJ might like this because it's Yay, has black some, people, sort of uh, energy drinks. Yeah, it's something to do with titties. It's got something. To, but you guys, energy drinks are okay. But this energy drink kind of makes me want to drink it for some reason. And there's an energy drink mm. called there's an energy drink called Pussy. <laughs> pussy. Yes. A energy drink called Pussy. How you spell Pussy? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, how do you spell it, Mike? P U S. I don't want to know what's in there. Uh, Vagina. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? Put, is this like drinking? Drinking? Um. Well, like drinking an energy drink that's called sperm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know what's in there. Yeah, drink was called sperm. That's for me. Uh, like drink something called pussy. <laughs> I want to make a drink called sperm and only sell it to women, and it tastes like vanilla shakes. It <laughs> is a sperm energy drink. There is only one. Already. That is awesome. Uh, yeah, Brad for Valentine's Day. I like it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, the. Our pussy is all natural. Our pussy demands attention. Our pussy had confidence. One <laughs> you could replace that word with cock. Exactly, yes. <laughs> uh, let's see it. All right, here's here's what it, what it has. Uh, a 100% natural blend of grape juice, lime, oh, God, fuzzy water infused with six... Selected oh, oh my, it just got nasty. And it just sort of tastes like chicken? <laughs> it, tastes like, <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like chicken. <laughs> mm. Oh, hey, pussy. Oh, wait. They named it so they just could say, I need to drink some pussy right now. <laughs> well, they should make it a food because then you eat pussy. You don't drink it. <laughs> All right, so pussy is uh, only available in the UK, but it seems like it's just a matter of time until there's a US knockoff. Strikingly enough, it uh, be doing that well at the grocery store. Uh, it's on clearance. They should call it cut over here. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's get some pussy. <clears throat> yeah, I always knew that English people are mad. <laughs> that is the uh, weird news. <laughs> you suck. Of course I do. I always do. Every single recording, you say that. <clears throat> yes. That's right. Yes, I do. It's your gimmick. <sighs> yes. uh, okay, we're going to do a new segment on the podcast. It's the, uh, the uh, Top Ten Review we go through a top ten list, uh, we do our reactions to it, and after we go through the list, we 
actually review it and what we thought of it. Yay! Yay! Uh, the top ten, the first top ten we're going to talk about, and it's pretty interesting here. Uh, the ten ways to get revenge using shit. Yes. Would you like to know how to get revenge? Literally shit. Literally shit. You use shit to get revenge on somebody. Uh, the article here is from the website of brobible.com where everything college bros and everything about girls, chicks, sports, all that good stuff is at. Uh, the article is written by J. Cam and he explains that his buddy JB has this really twisted mindset during one day when he was playing uh, backyard football, tackle football with his, with his buddies. Uh, some neighborhood douche pissed him off and he went motherfucking crazy and he took a beefy pile of dog shit and shoved it up the kid's mouth. Ew. Yes, it was disgusting and the kid was a douche at him and uh, his name was Fran. So, he had it coming. Uh, the other... The other nine uh, ways to getting revenge using shit, besides shoving dog shit up somebody's mouth, eat the dog shit. Bake right. it. Bake it in a cake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number nine is the upper decker. You probably know what the upper decker is. The upper decker is you pretty much poop in the tank of the toilet. Uh, number eight is the big old it's shit from Billy Madison, where you take a bag of shit and lit on fire, put on the and put it in front of somebody's house, and then yeah, put it in somebody's doorstep, and they're like, "There's a fire, I gotta put it out with my boots," and they step in it. Uh, really, I just pour something on the fire and then I kick it off my porch. <laughs> uh, it seems like you've done this more than once. Yeah. Uh, number seven. Uh, number seven is called Shit Waffle. Uh, per, the, per the good people at Urban Dictionary, a shit waffle is when you rip a loaf on the keyboard of somebody's laptop and then you close the top, squishing said loaf and causing all the feces oh. to seep into the keys. <laughs> 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 Comes up with this shit. Oh, uh, a lot of them. Sick. Uh, okay. What the heck? Oh, apparently number six is uh it's called the revenge fuck. Uh, shit. All right. Da 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 da. da. What the hell? Uh, well, got an ex-girlfriend that broke your heart, cheated on you, and spread unrealistic rumors about the size of your genitalia after you broke it up. Maybe one day she'll feel remorse of after being such a deviant cunt and wants to come back crawling back for love. Uh, that, uh, what do you do when you take her back without... Uh, you drink a... Oh, you drink a unsafe amount of laxatives and you're going to fuck her. <laughs> uh, stay... Uh, In a straight missionary style the entire time. Right when you start to feel your pulse, semen, not blood, you're going to try to wiggle up your torso, blow your head in her face, and simultaneously push a shit out all over her chest at the same time. <laughs> oh. That's, That's weird. Cool. Without missing a beat, you'll grab something she loves, a cell phone, childhood or ornament, frame picture of a dead relative, and then thoroughly wipe your ass with it and whatever else you can find. <laughs> oh. Then you put your pants back on, you look at her in the eye, say something hurtful about the dead relative, and walk the sh fuck out. She'll be shocked because she's covered in cum and shit. <laughs> oh, wow. No wonder it was not safe for work. Okay, number five. Shit pistol. You fill a water gun with distilled shit, and then you wreak havoc by shooting shit through the water gun. Oh, also you can fill a water balloon with uh, shitty water as well. 
Gross. Uh, three dollar number four. Uh, this one's an easy one, as wiping your ass with the money would be, uh, because that exactly is what you're gonna do. After one side is good and shitty, put it face down on the ground, spot up with a safe distance, and wait for some poor bastard to pick it up. Uh, yay. Uh, number three, turn down service. People are always saying, oh, you really shit the bed on that one. Next time some son of a bitch mutters that in your presence, it's followed by a chief or boss. Maybe it makes the business to take a steamer right on the mattress or shit in their pillow and hide it. Oh, God. I don't know. Number two, microwave shit. Obviously, you put the shit in the microwave. I think we're all just kind of speechless from hearing all this. I know. Uh, number one, uh, ceiling tile. Uh, this is perfect if someone you hate is throwing a party in their basement. When no one is looking, slide over a ceiling tile, uh, fling in a heaping pile of shit up there, and let that delicious shit out of water scent go through the house. And that's this is not always plausible, I understand that, but it's effective because the ceiling is definitely the last place anyone will look for that sh smelly shit. Oh god, wow, that's the uh, top ten ways to get revenge using your own shit. I wish you would have done a different thing, I have nothing to say, I've... I just wanted to be off the topic already. Yeah... You guys, I was asking you guys, like, I hate you. you guys were like, oh, let's go for shit. Yeah, we lo You said the weirdest, thing, the weirdest way to get revenge on somebody. I, I didn't know you actually meant shit. Using shit. I meant shit. You weren't paying attention. Uh, I hate. <laughs> you know, I use the word shit for, like, a lot of things. I didn't really th thought you meant it literally. That's, that's all I got to say. <laughs> what about you, Ruby? Yeah. Ruby's dead. Yeah, I'm just... I can't get Mr. Hanky the Christmas poo out of my head now. <laughs> <laughs> All those veggies, and it'll just involve Mr. Hanky. <laughs> Howdy ho! <laughs> I heard shit, 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 and all I could see in my mind was Mr. Hanky coming out of the toilet. Making everything <laughs> shitty, uh, all the food. Oh, he. Well, yeah. They don't really use Mr. Hanky that much in South Park anymore. That sucks. <laughs> okay. I don't miss him that much because we still have a lot of shit in South Park. Like, for example, the the U um, two episode with with Bono in it, where Bono is the biggest <laughs> shit. Yeah, it was more shit. Biggest turd in the world. Yeah. I like that that, that joke. Pick it on shit and toilets and yeah. But how about you, Rosie? How you feeling? Yeah, he's actually typing stuff out. For, <laughs> yeah, he's typing stuff out now. Overall, he said gross. He hates us. That's fine. I don't know, I think he's on the phone with somebody. The Davey Jam like this pretty good. I unplug my mic because my mom won't leave. So apparently Rosen is only 17 and he still lives with his parents and he's a loser. Yes, uh, a pretty good list for uh, making your own revenge with your shit. So <laughs> shut the fuck up, JJ. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? Uh Oh, no. no. Fuck you, Rosen. Go stick your head in a toaster. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was the... Uh, Do we get any Q&As? <laughs> you fail at my joke. <laughs> okay. All I right. Said stick my dick in a toaster. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> you failed. Uh, that was the uh, top ten, and... It Next time, we will have something that's not that disgusting and gross. Uh, now we go into the Attack Squad Q&A. Okay, uh, la 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 la, who's next? I'm the new female. 
I'll go. Yeah. JJ, uh, J uh, Rosenhacker. God damn, I have these names in my head and I'm just blurring out random shit. Uh-huh. Okay, <laughs> Rosen, Rosenhacker. Seeing as you stated you're a Green Lantern fan, what did you not bag. like about the film? Basically, that's what she said. There was no logic, the acting was wooden in places, and it just didn't fit in with what Green Lantern was. Alright. And, and I like tits. <laughs> you like those tiggo biddies, don't ya, JJ? You said it wrong, but yes. Tig o biddies. That's what it is. Shut up. All right. Uh, yes. Ro Rosenhacker, who is your favorite lantern? Me. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm bad at John Stewart. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, JJ, there we go. You got three. Me. You got. Oh man, I don't want any questions. You got three questions. What What did they ask? Uh, let's see. Uh, remember the Great Wall of China video sounds like a great idea, but do you think there are any other songs they could use? Not that I Walk 500 Miles is a bad song, but when you mentioned your idea, I thought of I the Tiger by Survivor from Rocky. I don't know. Enlighten me. What did I say? It's been a month. What did I say? You wanted to walk the Great Wall of China while having the disclaimer play. Yeah. Oh, and what what else would be happening? You said that <laughs> you would. Be, you said you you would like to visit China. You'd be. Yeah, we would have a video on the Great Wall of China. You would have the song "I Will Walk 500 Miles" by the Proclaimers playing as you are on the Great Wall of China. It would be the greatest video ever. You said. Yes, it would. And what was the question again? Any uh, other song you would use? Would Would you uh, as, use any I other don't songs? Want to the tiger because. I had a tiger as meant for climbing stairs. Um, what song would I use? Uh, 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 what's a good song to run to? I don't know. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe... Oh, I know. Uh, Rock You Like a Hurricane. Uh, Scorpions. Oh, works. Uh, that I asked that would be a bad. All right, uh, next question is: What is your favorite Sonic the Hedgehog game? What's my favorite? Oh, uh, motherfucking Sonic Rush! <laughs> motherfucking Sonic Rush for fucking Game Boy Advance, not Game Boy Advance. Yeah, for Sonic. Yes. Fuck. I mean, for. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Let me try that one more time. My favorite game is Sonic Rush. For the Nintendo DS, because it's so fun, and they fucked the game up when they get uh, made Sonic Colors for the DS, because they took away the ability to do tricks in the air, and I hated that. All right, the last question is. It's your fault. How did you get the nickname Turtle Kermit? I don't know. Shit, I just like came on. Well, back then, back in 2008, I had a girlfriend. Friend, she called me Turtle, and uh, I used to think I used to have that Kermit the Frog hat, and I used to wear it everywhere. And people called me Kermit, so I just threw the names together, and then I started LPing and going by the name TK, and it sounded cool. So I said, "Oh fuck it, I'll just keep the name." But now I look back, and I'm all I'm like, "God damn, is that name so fucking lame?" <laughs> so fuck. Here we go. Yep, yep, Turtle Kermit. Now I don't really even have that name anymore, sadly. I, I want to go by a new name because that's a better name to go by. Yeah. So All expect right. me using a new uh, new page on YouTube pretty soon, unless my page goes down or something. Yeah, I did doubt that. Uh, that was the interesting story of how the origin of Turtle Kermit came about. Uh, questions for all of us to answer. All of us. Oh, God. If you have seen Deathly Hallows Part 2, what did you think of it? I haven't. I haven't. Who has seen Deathly... Who has seen Deathly Hallows Part 2? Ruby? 
Um, definitely, yes, yes, I have seen it Thanks. two weeks ago or something. And I liked it better than Deathly Hallows Part 1. Um, because uh. I apparently was the only one who didn't like Part 1 that much. I liked the book a lot. But um, I think there's a lot of difference between the book and the movie. But Part 2 was kind of okay, I think. Have you seen Deathly Hells Part 2, JJ? Okay. No, I haven't. Actually, I have seen it, but I watched it online because I am that lame. What'd you think and of it? I found that movie very, very boring. It was very, very... It was just action here, there, action, 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 and then after that, the movie ends. And it was just drawn-out action, and this, this action could have been thrown in the motherfucking, the first fucking Harry Potter. It just could have have been more than four hours long. They could have like took out some of the absent scenes from the book and then replaced it and like tried to tie everything in because I'm tired of movies always trying to break into parts because that's not necessary. They did a Lord of the Rings could have been broken into six movies, but no, they said fuck that. With good directing, this story can be told within three and within a trilogy. Fuck you, Harry Potter. Okay, next question. It was boring. That was, that's my reaction. It was boring. Okay. Even though a lot of actions, it, it still bored me. What do you think is the best and worst film in the Harry Potter series? What do you think will come of that? Dun, 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 dun. I don't like the look of it. Oompa, loompa. Okay, I, is it my... Yeah, you should start really. Um... I liked part five best. I think part five was awesome. And I... The one I disliked the most was... Uh, I don't know, part part six or Deathly Hallows part one. I didn't like both of them. And I can't really choose which one I disliked more. I think part six. Part 5 was the best one, and Part 6 the worst one for me. Maybe because I also had very big expectations after Part 5. Yeah, I, I gotta agree. Part 5 was probably the best, and Part 6 was definitely the worst. I fucking hated Part 5 because I didn't follow anything from the book. I mean, uh, my person, Mine was 4 because uh, Edward Cullen died in it. <laughs> And it was an awesome. It was awesome to see. Honestly, yeah, part four was my favorite book. What about you, Mike? Two of the books, but I think all of the movies except for three books. You're fading out again, Rosa, and God damn it! I said I haven't read any of the books, but I still like the movies. Cause you suck. Yeah, like a bitch. Like uh, a bitch. Honestly, for me, I have I stopped watching after part two, so I'm not a big Harry Potter fan. He can suck my I am. cock, for all Dick. I know. Dick, cock, same thing. Anyways, uh, moving. Anyways, the next question moving is: on. What is the scariest ride you have ever been on at a any theme park? Your mom. Oh! Like, I was expecting that. That was terrible. I'm sorry. That, that was a terrible, but clever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Somebody else go. <laughs> well, I know I, people are definitely just the lion. You're blinking out. Damn, it's but the lion. Didn't Nash tell people to buy decent mics before they ever get online? Well, he's got a decent mic, but he stands or sits way too fucking far from the mic. You know, he, he can Okay, be how is this? Now you're breaking up. It's like, arr, 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 arr. I love toast. <laughs> I said Goliath. Bli oh. Bli yeah. Goliath. It's, it's like a 200 foot drop of Six Flags. Oh, yeah, oh, I remember. I've been on that one, actually. Yeah, that's a scary motherfucking ride. 
Oh, man. I hate those drops. You just go straight down. Whoosh! 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 Ah, uh, anybody else? Uh, what do you... What do you yeah, Ruby, do they have themed parts out in Europe? I, I'm just comparing all the rides that, that I've been on, and there was a lot of scary rides for me because I am scared very easily, and I get sick very easily, so... Well, I think it was the one in Austria that turned round and round, and then, and then it got up, and then my head was pointing to the floor, and it was still turning round, and then I was sick for hours. Mm. But I also had one scary ride in Euro Disney. It was a roller coaster that went the other way round, so backwards, and but it wasn't, at least I didn't get sick. So I think that one in Austria was worse. Uh, you want to know my fucking, my favorite ride was the Batman. And it was weird because, like, it's like a corkscrew. You just go back and it twirls up and then you come back down and it twirls down. And the effect of coming backwards on a roller coaster is so weird. And that's what just makes me scared, I guess, because, like, I don't know, I, like, you're so used to, like, seeing what you're going in front of when you're going that fast. But when you're going backwards, you can't see. So it's like, oh, oh! <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It brings a thrill to it. Any films you want to see being remade? Just any film you want to see remade in this decade? Uh, I haven't been along long enough to actually say, like, oh, there's a movie that I want to be remade. Because you have to realize a lot of movies that are being be remade right now are from 30 years ago, like back in the 1980s. And I've only been alive for 20 years, so, I mean, like, I really can't say, oh, I want a really blue remold. Because that just make me, because, like, I can't talk with that nostalgia. Well, and like Doug Walker and Spoonie and all them, they're at least 30, they were born in the 80s, so I mean like, they're at that age where they can say, oh, I want to remake this. Yeah, well, weren't you born, they grew up in the 90s, so wouldn't it be like a 90s film that you want to see being remade or something? I would really like it if they, well, not a uh, film, but I would like it if they made a film about um, some Saturday morning cartoons that I used to watch, like Metabots, that would kick ass. Oh, I see. Yeah, that would be interesting. But as in films, like, I would like, I mean, like, all the films have been done before. I mean, there's no, like, really, really new age film that, uh, like, one of my favorite films is New Jack City, but, I mean, you could kind of, you can say that the Denzel Washington version of New Jack City is, uh, American Gangster, so I mean, like, I really can't say, oh, I want something to be remade, because it's that, I haven't been along long enough to actually have the rights, and, oh, man, back then, we used to make movies like this, am I like, motherfucker, when I was a kid, you know what I used to watch? I watched Barney back in the 90s, <laughs> until, like, 1996, I was just, I was starting to get on that cool trend, because my brother would, like, watch all these, like, newer stuff, so I, like, I can't really say... I uh, want something to be remade, because I wasn't even a film fan until recently, so. Ah, uh, okay. You guys, I know Ruby has one. She's like the oldest one here and all that. Oh, I'm a Muslim. <laughs> Look at those. I'm the oldest one, but the thing is, I don't really like remakes. Most exactly. Of the time, yeah. yeah. Most of the time, the characteristics and the nostalgic parts of the movie get lost. Um, doing a remake, I think. That's just my opinion. So, I couldn't say what because I don't want to encourage a remake. I like, I prefer being nostalgic, so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Pancakes. Rosenhacker, any films that you yeah. would like to see being remade? Yeah. Yeah, motherfucker. Uh, I I said I'd really like to see a really well-done, hand-drawn uh, animated movie, something like what Ralph Bakshi or uh, Richard Williams did, like Wizards, Heavy Metal, uh, what else? Um, you know, stuff like that. 
I've never seen Wizards, but I have seen Heavy Metal, and I liked that movie. That came out in the 80s, though, so that was way before your time, little man. Yeah, Wizards was the 70s. Wizard was 70s, Heavy Metal was 80s. Didn't you see the hack down on it? Uh, no, I don't. I, I stopped watching uh, uh, Mr. Hack because ever since he left the site, like, I felt like he left for a stupid reason. No, he, he left because, like, because he, like, wasn't happy. There's, yeah, and we, 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 you know why he wasn't happy, and I find that's a really, really stupid reason to quit a job, so I don't know. I kind of like I lost my respect for that, but I don't know. There's going to be a whole documentary about it. When? Uh, coming soon. The trailer just went up last night. What if the frack has to do a palsy hat? Uh. So, who, who's interviewing him? He's making it. I don't know. Uh, go that's ahead. lame. I thought, like, Critic TV was going to do Google it or something. Google the trailer. Oh, I don't want to. But uh, I think they're already in the works of making heavy metal, actually. At one point... Uh, Why? At one point, they said, like, uh, director David Fincher was attached to it, but then dropped out, so they're looking for a director to do it. So, there might be a heavy metal remake coming out soon. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's, the remakes are tough to talk about because, you know, a remake has to be made very well compared to the original. If if it turns out to be a crappy remake, it's crappy and it's not worth seeing. If it's a good, well-made remake, it's very good and I approve of them for making something that was original. Uh, for me... For me, for me, for me, I would like to fuck a dog. Oh, no, I mean, uh, uh, I, actually, here's the thing. I want to see a remake of the Super Mario Brothers movie. Of boobs. I like it the way it is. I like no, it being no. terrible. No, I would like to see... It, it's, it's like a parody of Super Mario Bros. to me. Oh, a parody, yeah, okay, yeah, right. A monkey, the bomb. I don't know. I'd I would just like to see a video game movie to be kind of remade differently. Uh, yeah. Maybe Double Dragon, Street Fighter, new Mortal Kombat movie would be nice. But we got the uh, Mortal Kombat Leg Legacy series online for that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's the podcast. I suck. I'm Mike. That's JJ. That's Rosenhacker. That's Ruby. That's it. Thanks for listening. And also, send your questions for the next Attack Squad Q&A, and we'll answer them on the next podcast, wherever that would be, because I'll be starting college tomorrow, and I'm going to be a busy as fuck. I'm going to be starting college at the end of the week so I'm going back to school on Friday and probably on Sunday I'll be having sex every night until, I don't know, Labor Day so, we've been attacked attacked! good night everybody! <laughs>